All right, let's talk about treatments. First we're going to talk about is cockroach bait placements. For this particular bait, we're going to use a small multiple bait placements for German cockroaches. They prefer these small multiple bait placements like this uh, rather than one large bait placement. We also have prepackaged bait stations. This is an ant prepackaged bait station from Taro. And then we have other types of bait stations like you can get max force bait stations for cockroaches or ants. And you can get uh, Advion bait stations for cockroaches or ants. This one happens to be an Advion from DuPont a bait station for ants. What I like about it is it's clear and you can see the bait inside it. When it's gone you replace it. We also have large bait stations for liquid baits that you can actually take these and use them outside when you have heavy populations for like Argentine type ants. Uh, you can actually put the liquid bait in there and then wrap it around a tree and zip tie it to a, a tree or a post. We also have a bulb uh, applicator which you can use these bulb applicators for either granular baits or dust. You just need to be careful when you're using dust, especially around motors, that the dust doesn't blow back at you. There's also prepackaged dusts, and they come in these containers like this that are just ready to use, and you just shake it up, make sure it's nice and fluffy, and then you make the application, and this is for void applications, for void treatments. There's also large dusters, like this one that you see I'm, I'm using here. This is a uh, two-quart B&G uh, duster and you make applications by just pushing on that handle one thing you want to be careful of you never make a dust application in a drop ceiling in a commercial kitchen the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about uh, pressurized sprayers now these are not used very often anymore for liquid applications especially indoors but this is a handheld one uh, that, that can be used for spot treatments different things like that uh, we have a one gallon applicator like this one here uh, most of these that you see today are a B&G type of sprayer, uh, but a handheld pressurized sprayer is good for making applications around the perimeter exterior structures uh, and doing spot treatments outside as well. Now the next piece of equipment I have is this is a handheld uh, either a bait or granular insecticide application uh, that you use with these type of spreaders uh, around the perimeter of, st of structures. Also have mouse traps with peanut butter that works real well and a rat trap that works really well with Slim Jims.